And we are uh, very happy to have yesterday's starter and winner Trevor May join us from the other end of the dugout. Trevor, congratulations. Uh, we made the assessment. What do we know? But we we thought that was uh, your best major league start yesterday. How about you? Yeah, I agree. Uh, I think it's the first time I gave up less than three runs. So uh, definitely, uh, definitely happy with how things turned out and uh, getting a win. Yeah, yesterday, six innings, four hits, one run, no walks. Got to be happy with that, along with four strikeouts. Yeah, um, you know, a uh, big thing coming into this year was just kind of uh, not beating myself and, and making him hit the ball. And, uh, I had a little trouble there uh, last year with, with walks, and uh, I did a lot of lot in the offseason to get myself ready to, you know, throw strikes and the zone. Trevor, one thing I noticed yesterday, early on, first couple breaking balls you threw were a little bit high, and then you threw a couple good ones, and you thought, okay. I got it. I feel it. And then you kind of got away from it again. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I had the change of going pretty well. And, right. um, you know, at that point in the game, uh, I was just trying to go with what was working on that day. And, you know, it was tough to get a feel for either one of the breaking balls, really. And, uh, you know, just trying to get on top of it and pull it down. But, um, you know, tried to stay with what was going, uh, going well, and, and then go from there. And, and, and it worked out. Well, you got it did a good job of staying ahead because again no walks it seemed like when you threw a ball you came right back with another strike. Yeah uh, you know that again it was I tried to make every pitch you know um, independent of each other and and uh, you know have a plan behind every pitch and then execute as best I could. So. Yeah while we have you here of the 11 major league starts you've made so far what have you learned you came up last year last yesterday was your second start what have you learned to make yourself better from here on out. Well, the biggest thing is, uh, you know, that that I have the stuff that, that plays at this level, and that I can be successful, and uh, just kind of getting that confidence. And that's that's something that you do, you know, every level I've come up. It's kind of been a, a thing that I've had to adjust to, and um, it's no different here. Um, and, and just kind of learning how uh, how my stuff plays and uh, what's going to make me successful over the long term, and uh, and then you know just being able to throw everything for strikes, and uh, just knowing that. Uh, um, if I throw it where I need to throw it, that I can get guys out. And, and maybe, uh, maybe the most important lesson you've, lear you've learned is to uh, pull the hoodie up when you're doing a TV <laughs> interview and you get them bombarded with sunflower seeds. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I'm, I'm glad it's kind of cold today, so I can have the excuse to put the hood up. Hey, you and I had a chance to, to talk a little bit uh, this afternoon on the clubhouse, and you said your changeup really didn't develop, but you got a lot more confidence in that pitch right after you were traded uh, to the Twins. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's something that I actually learned to change it before I learned any breaking ball uh, when I was little. And um, my dad was always a huge uh, believer in the changeup, and, and I was too. But uh, you know, as it got bigger and stronger, uh, the curveball kind of came along a little quicker, and I kind of stayed with it. But um, you know, it, working inside uh, was what's what I started to do pretty well, and then the changeup kind of came, came along with that, and I just developed that feel. And especially when I came over here in uh, in 13, uh, I just I just went with it and, and uh, found that I could throw it for strikes when I needed to, and, and then everything kind of built from there. Um, and it's always been a pitch for me, especially in the last couple of years. And Salvador Perez got a breaking ball down and away and hit it right back up the middle. It's a one out single for Perez. Now, Trevor, I know other than loving the game of baseball, you also love music. You produce music in your spare time. I do. Uh, that's something like it's funny uh, I got into that about the time I started to develop my changeup uh, <laughs> and I've been doing that for the past couple of years it's you know especially in in the, our business uh, we have you know long periods of time when we're at the field but when we're off the field it's kind of a block of free time so um, it's a great time killer and I love just opening up a laptop and kind of immersing myself in that it takes my now, mind off everything else. Do you write your own lyrics then is that a uh, absolutely not drive to center. One hops the wall. Perez doesn't run well, but he'll get third base. He's coming in. Santana with a throw to the plate. And he is tagged out by yeah, Suzuki. Nice. Danny Santana with a strong throw from the outfield grass, cutting down Perez at the plate. Very nicely done. That ball hit sharply over the head of Schaefer. Schaefer had to wait, get the carom as it comes down, but he does the right thing. Doesn't overshoot the cutoff, man. Now Dozier's right behind him. It's a two cutoff fan relay. You see Santana going out. He has a stronger arm. And a good feed to Santana and then a rocket toward home plate. And Suzuki 
Goes up the line, catches it, and tags out Perez. Gordon at second now with two out, and the batter is Paulo Orlando. Great relay right there. Trevor, your next start will be back on your home turf. You uh, grew up, what, just about an hour outside of Seattle, is that right? Uh, two hours south. Two hours, actually. okay, all right. Uh, pretty close to Portland, Oregon, down by the border uh, of Oregon and Washington. But, you know, I was always a Seattle Mariners fan growing up, and, um, you know, that's our only real city in the whole state. So, you know, I spent a lot of time up there, and I've lived there for the last five years. These would be the Mariners of Griffey and Rodriguez and Randy Johnson, that era? Yeah, and uh, the biggest one, my favorite player, Edgar Martinez. Really? Uh, I got to ask you one more thing before you go, Trevor. You're learning to play the piano, I heard. Yes, I'm struggling to learn the piano. That's not. It's a. That's a tough thing to just watch YouTube videos and try to do. Okay. Uh, now, well, you've also played the trombone, which I did in high school. Yeah. You, you gave that up like I did. I, I, I did. It got in. It got in the way of uh, baseball practice, yeah. of all things. <laughs> well, good luck with the piano. Thank that you. is a, a foul ball. You have any idea, Trevor, what your pass list, your ticket requests, are going to be like for uh, for your start in Seattle? Oh, it's it's going to be it's going to be pretty outrageous. But I think that you know it's it's that it's that opportunity that kind of uh, only comes along once. So I, you know, I'm happy to happy to get as many people there as I can. And uh, I know a lot of people from my hometown are buying their own tickets. And my sister has her company gets some box seats too. So. You know, I'll have a pretty good following. It'll, it'll be a lot of fun. Trevor, we thank you for yes. taking the time. You want to identify who's been pelting you with these seats, <laughs> or is that kind of a what what happens in the dugout stays in the dugout? Well, it's the it's it's the vets. Yeah. Okay. I'll say that much. It's the vets. Getting, Hughes, uh, Perkins, good guesses. Okay. <laughs> all right. Hey, good luck in Seattle. All right. Thank you very much. All right.